So let's say this cell phone, you know, which is so close to us, you know, we are keeping this cell phone right next to our heart, right? And suddenly people have started telling us it is harmful, right? You know, something which is so good, so beautiful, made our life so fantastic. We could communicate with so many people at the same time. And suddenly these older people have started telling you that it is harmful, right? Well, uh, let me start with a different demo, okay? Let me just try to make a call because now you know how the connections happen. He has explained very beautifully. So let me just make a simple call first and let me just show you what it can do. Can you see this light glowing? Okay. This light is glowing without any battery. So there is so much radiation coming from here and what it has, it has an antenna which receives the signal and then that signal is actually rectified just like in a home we convert AC signal to DC. So we get a DC voltage and that DC voltage is more than 2 volts to turn on this LED. So you can imagine what happens and I don't like to keep it close to my heart so I'm going to keep it far away from me. As uh, said you keep it at a far away from you. Let's see what really we have. So I'll talk about cell phone tower and you can see all those health hazards which are associated with cell tower radiation. Next please phone and tower statistics. How many cell phones are there? How many towers are there in our country? What really happens? So already you know a little bit about microwave heating principle, so I'll go through it very quickly. So what is the radiation pattern of cell tower antenna? It's really, really important to know what is the radiation pattern, in which direction you are getting more radiation, in which direction you get less radiation. And then we will look into what are the safety norms. Are we safe or are we not safe? And then we'll look into, we have done measurements now at more than 1,000 places. And we have found very strong correlation between the health problem at the radiation level. Uh, we have more than 900 million mobile phone users. And again, by the time I'm talking, a few more connections have already been done, OK? And of course, to meet that, we need towers. So we have 5 lakh towers in the country. Let's just look into the next one. So microwave radiation already he mentioned about. So when microwave energy impinges on human body, human body consists of 70% liquid, brain 90% liquid. So what happens when microwave energy comes, these molecules start vibrating and you know how fast they vibrate? 900 million times per second. You can imagine something vibrating at 900 million times per second what's going to happen those things there will be a lot of friction and that friction will lead to heat that's how you cook microwave food so thermal and non-thermal effect of course non-thermal effect that vibration causes damage to the dna it causes damage to all the tissues which are present and hence it creates problem when you use mobile phone let's just have a quick thing we have some children back there so if you have used mobile phone for 15 20 minutes have you you notice your ear gets warm how many of you? All right, uh, many of you, right? So, I mean, he has already explained, but let, uh, let me also say what really happens. A lot of time people say, well, there is a no heat going through, there is a nothing, but there is a microwave radiation. That radiation impinges on the earlobe. It's the blood inside the earlobe which is getting heated up. And it actually heats up to almost uh, 100 degree. Fahrenheit. So that means what is really happening, you have a 98.4. Every time you use for 20 minutes or so, you have a 100 degree fever, okay? And since we have a lot of ladies here, so let me just say, so if you like to be a hot lady, okay? And literally speaking hot, okay? So you are actually having a fever right over here and you can use it. And by the way, a lot of other things also happen. So this phone, which is next to it, there is a skin. So skin will start getting dried up. So you will need more moisturizer later on, okay? Or you will start looking older faster. Then it also eyes. So eyes, basically, there is a no movement of the liquid. So eyes start getting dried up. Then, of course, it penetrates. It starts cooking the brain. Unfortunately, brain doesn't know when it is cooking or not, okay? Because God made sensor at the skin. So if you feel some put something hot, brain knows that it is heating up. But if the brain is getting cooked, it doesn't know it is getting cooked. So that's the difference between the this. So what really happened, you have already here. So if you 
it starts with warm sensation then it goes to irreversible hearing loss and ear tumor and i have interacted with lot of ent specialist and i even talked to the children who actually developed ear tumor of this size and even developed partial hearing loss to full hearing loss so let's go now the mobile phone radiation is defined by its sar value specific absorption rate now one thing which is there actually that sar value is good for 6 minutes per day that means if you are using mobile phone for longer time it's a problem now i don't want to scare you people also because there is a safety margin of 3 to 4 that means maximum 18 to 24 minutes you can use your cell phone if you use longer time you are definitely inviting problem in time to come and what are those problems i'll come to that let's just see the next one now see there is a warning from blackberry and the warning from the blackberry says keep the device 25 mm from your body so next time what you should do you should have a phone you measure 25 mm and keep the phone like this do you really do like this not really right most of the time you hold phone like this sometimes you hold like this and some people do fantastic multitasking also right so they hold phone like this also so from where radiation goes it is going through your entire body so you are absorbing more radiation and thereby creating more harmful to you and even the warning from the blackberry says reduce the amount of time spent on calls why would a mobile phone manufacturer tell you that you use cell phone for shorter time that means there is a problem so interphone which is a part of who they carried out a study and they studied about 5117 brain tumor cases now that's not small number that's a huge number and what they found out i'll come over here that the people who use half hour per day over 8 to 10 years chances of getting brain tumor are 200% to 400% okay so that's not a joke right so you have to take these things seriously but what cell operator say well that is not there this is not there and this report came in may 2010 now by the way who was part of interphone but when who accepted this was in may 2010 one year later in fact exactly one year later 31st may 2011 who accepted finally that okay cell phone is possible human carcinogen class 2b now when this thing particular came uh, operators of course did the study there was a lot of newspaper coverage and then operators you know they are also very smart people of okay? of course much smarter than us that is how they are able to do business that is how they are able to fool the people around the world so i want to mention just we'll go to the center of attraction other things are also important but center of attraction what it says this is the study in nyla germany so in the first 5 years increase in the cancer rate was just about 1.1 1.2 one being the normal so slight increase but in 6 to 10 years increase in the cancer risk is 3.2 so we are going to have a significant uh, you know what i would going to say we are going to have a cancer boom in this particular country and i'm sure lot of doctors will become very happy because every cancer patient is worth 5 to 10 lakhs rupees and of course very doc many doctors will be very unhappy because too many patients they can't handle it right there are not too many hospitals to take care of that so everything has a balance right next please so it's not just affecting human being i'll tell you it affects each and every living thing so that means it will affect birds in fact i am sure you will never ever see a bird next to the cell tower okay so birds are dying bees are getting disappeared sparrows are getting killed so you are basically killing the whole eco structure not only that it is affecting the animals so dairy co cows here so in fact i was talking to one dairy farmer one day and you know what he said professor our cows used to give 5 liter of milk per day after the towers have been installed they are giving only 0.5 liter so that means the production is reduced by 10 times so whatever children are going to drink in future uh, next please 
So it not, as I said, every living thing gets affected. So it is also affecting the plants, trees, fruit yield of the trees. In fact, this picture is again taken by me. Uh, this is in Gurgaon, Delhi, Tolnaka. So the owner actually told me, especially for like he had lemon. So what he said, Professor, earlier if I was getting 100 lemon, now I get two. So a 98% reduction after about 2.5 to 3 years of installation. And later on, I have visited many farmhouses. I have carried my radiation meter. We do the measurement. I think as an IIT professor, I'm not supposed to do all those, right? But I took this as a social cause. I decided that I must utilize my knowledge to communicate to the people because these people, especially cell operators and their associates, they are misleading the people. And we have to give fitting reply from technical point of view. And now this is the another study which was carried out by Ministry of Environment Science. And they formed a team of 10 people because when we made those noises, we submitted our report to DOT in December 2010. Then in 2011, committee formed. They went through 919 papers and they found 593 papers report adverse effect. Now that's not a small number. In Jaipur, a lot of cancer cases were reported, I'll tell you, because it was a Hindi newspaper. So before cell tower, people could actually control that. And by the way, I'll tell you, a part of the media, I'm not saying all of them, okay? Part of the media, let's just think about it for a second. You turn on any TV channel, most of the things are either sponsored by Vodafone or Nokia or Idea. So from where they get the revenue? from the tower company. You see these days newspaper, you see full page advertisement of Samsung or Nokia or this and all that. So well, the thing is still there are many honest reporters who are still reporting it in spite of their getting funding from operators. But just see here, so seven cancer cases in one area, six cancer cases in another area. And after that, cell operators simply say, oh, we are within the norm. Yes, you are within the norm of 450. People are having problem at one. So what's good when if you are below 450? We agree. We are not saying that you are exceeding the norm. What we are saying here is change the norm. Okay. What is important? We want our mobile phone to work, right? And that's it. So mobile phone works, by the way, just to tell you that 450, which I was telling you here, 0 0.1 is here. And by the way, your mobile phone works up to 0 0.0000001. At that level, mobile phone works, OK? So we want our mobile phone to work, right? So this is the DOT. Finally, even term people actually mentioned one time that there are cancer risks from mobile tower, but they try to you just say, oh, well, it is one in million chances, OK? This is the. Cases in Dadar, Parsi colony, six cancer cases in three years. So let's come to finally the solution. Actually, solution is very, very simple. And that is to reduce the transmitted power from the tower. See, removing the tower is not a solution. Please understand. Because you remove the tower from here, then your mobile phone will not work. Are you willing to live without mobile phone? Chances are not. So if they remove the tower from here, they will put somewhere else then those people will have a health problem. You may think you are safe, but then your safe doesn't mean that they should get affected. So idea is simple. You reduce the transmitted power, have more number of towers, and then everybody will be happy. So why they are not doing it? It is very simple. I'll tell you, today we have 5 lakh towers. We need another 5 lakh low power tower. Each tower costs them about 15 lakhs of rupees. So they have to invest about 75,000 crores. And suddenly, you know, 75,000 crores appear to be a lot of money. But let me just tell you the how to get that money. Very simple. If they increase the price just by 5 paisa per minute, only 5 paisa per minute you have to pay. And within 3 years, they will recover their entire investment. So my conclusion is very, very simple. People have to decide health versus wealth. So you want to pay 5 paisa more per minute and yeah. demand a safe health. That's it. As simple as that.